All right, hi, uh, hi YouTube. This is the Air of Carthage bringing you a Rome Total War online commentary video, and I am playing against Angelos, also uh, known as Puel twenty three oh six eighty eight. I'm playing as Carthage, and he's playing as Macedon. You want to introduce yourself, Puel? Hello, guys. This is uh, Puel twenty three oh six eighty eight, aka Angelos, and yes, uh, I am playing against um, Air here. Uh, it's not a dual com. Uh, he's just doing all the talking, I'm just here to introduce myself. So, back to where. Alright, now we're gonna cease the talking and begin the fighting. fighting. Alright, so I'm gonna move up on, um, on Puel here. He can't hear what I'm saying right now, or at least I hope he can't. Can you hear me, Puel? Okay, no response, so he's either teasing me, or uh, I don't think he should be able to hear me, though I'm using push to speak on Xfire. So I have a rush army, so I'm going to have to move into position quickly, um, or else it's all going to be over. So my idea is to come up and engage his um, royal pikes with my um, with my infantry, but I have to be careful because his archers can tear up my cavalry as well, and I want to fix his royal pikes in place, use my pointy to guard the rear, and um, yeah, that's pretty much my strategy. So I'm starting the attack. Um, getting a bit sloppy here, so yeah, I'm not gonna be able to talk to you the whole time. Anyway, so I'm moving up my troops. Um, I don't know how my sacred band are gonna do. We'll see. Alright, he's got his archers tuned into my horses, so I'm going to get routed quickly. That was a very smart move. Um, so now all I have to guard my flanks is my pointy infantry, and um, I don't know if that's going to be enough. He can now shoot my pointy infantry in the back at will. So that's why taking a rush army is a risky strategy. The point of this video was to introduce you to rush armies, kind of explain how they work. Uh, rush army means that I didn't bring any missile units. I've relied solely on cavalry and infantry. Um, so yeah, I've taken a big risk at not bringing any infantry, I mean any missile units, because he can fire at my um, units with his archers uh, with no immediate retaliation. And also I've lost the um, cavalry fight so that's going to create a difficult situation for me and he has enough units to um, keep me outflanked so that's also going to create a difficult situation right there he lost a bit of cavalry that's going to be good for me but he's moving up some royal pikes to outflank my pointy and this unit of sacred band is getting decimated so um, yeah I'm, I'm in bad shape right now really his royal pikes are holding out fairly well against my um, sacred bands at the moment. This one has turned sideways real strange for some reason. Now I've got a second line of pointy to protect from uh, immediate hammer and anvil threats, but if he just wins the fight on the flanks, um, then I'll be in trouble. So right now it's kind of up in the air. It's hard to say exactly what's going to happen, but um, I'd rather it be looking better for me right now. But it's not. Um, yeah, that's not good right there my general unit. If I lose him right here, I'm in trouble, which I very well might. Alright, my um, my pointy crumbled there. That's not good. And then I lost a unit of Sacred Band there also. So yeah, I'm in bad shape now. Um, he has attacked my li uh, pointy there with his Light Lancers. So I'm bringing over this unit of Sacred Band that was only um, partially engaged there. I'm going to try and box in his units here. I've got to keep the hammer and anvil strikes away as best I can. 
still a fairly close match here. And he's routed my general. Yeah, that's not good. So see, my strategy here required my Sacred Band Phalanxes to be able to hold the line against his Royal Pikes. And um, they've done pretty well. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to pull off a victory as of yet. But keeping his cavalry away, as you can see, is helping the battle to last longer. And that's what I need. I need time on my side. Because the longer his Royal Pikes are engaged with my Sacred Bands, then the better chance I, I um, stand of, of winning this fight. So right there, I had a unit of his Royal Pikes route. That's good, but this unit of Pointy right here is about to kick the bucket. So, yeah, I, um, still a very dangerous game for me at this point. Yeah, this unit of Sacred Band is now going to be exposed to Archer Fire and, um, and Hammer and Anvil Assaults. And here comes one right now. If I can hit his cavalry here before he turns his phalanx into position, that'll be good. Oh, yes, that's going to be a big help for me. Routed all of his cavalry there. That was very fortunate. But he's still got all of his archers as well. And, um, so that's still a huge danger that I face. So the battle's turned a bit in my favor because his cavalry routed. But, um, oh, there goes some of his infantry. There goes more of his infantry. Uh, thank goodness. If that wouldn't have happened, I would have been in trouble. This has been a very close fight. I'm going to try and chase off some of his archers and cavalry there. Uh, his cavalry has come back into the fight. Oh, there's a hammer and anvil strike. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, dang. Those pointy routed right away. Crap. Yeah, well, this just turned right back to his favor there. Yeah, now my whole army's gonna chain route. That was a smart move by him. He brought his cavalry back in to the time of crisis, and um, it made all the difference. So yeah, uh, he's got this game in his hands now. Yeah, that was a very close fight there. As you can see, it was gonna kind of turn either way. Um, I got close right there, but as you can see from the strategy I chose, which is the the bad part about rush armies, is that you run that risk of being outflanked uh, by archer fire. Or if you don't win the cavalry fight like I didn't, um, then it leaves you open to those kind of assaults. So I got close, but uh, not quite uh, here. Alright, Peel, do you want to describe real quick uh, the strategy that you used there against me? Yeah, the tactics I used, uh, I used heavy cavalry tactics and light cavalry tactics. Uh, heavy cavalry was just to engage his... Um, to, to engage his... Uh, sacred band cav and my light cav was there just to mainly ride down any skirmishes which he didn't bring in the end so they so they were just there as a distraction um like as like when i got his uh, cav uh, caught in a pincer movement his maneuverability was uh, greatly affected so once like i said once his cav were done um i could then do hammer and anvil at, at will on his rear until he formed like a like a box formation so at that when i when he did that i had to uh, shoot him in the rear of arrows uh, until eventually his box was weakened, allowing me to get cavalry in and uh, attack units in the flanks. Yeah, that was a good game. As you can see, I had 716 kills, and uh, want to tell me your results there? Yeah, I had 861 kills and 644 men remaining. All right, good game. Indeed.